This video is to demonstrate all the functions of the full-sized and scale model Galleon road grader. The first function would be to raise and lower the blade. This was done by turning these large hand wheels at the operator's platform. This ran through a set of worm gears that turn this shaft out to this connection here and this connecting link has a ball joint at both ends so that as the blade is moved up and down and left and right the links will pivot Each wheel can be turned individually and that will lower the blade if they wanted to tilt the grade that they were trying to maintain. By turning them both you could drop the blade parallel to get to the desired height. The blade shafts have fixtures on them that this chain is connected to and the chain in turn is connected to a spring so when raising the blade it would help the operator lift the weight of the blade and the blade frame. Once the blade was put into position a handle here was pulled back and this went down to a locking mechanism Here, which released a pin that went through all the holes in the blade frame and released it. Once the blade was released, the operator would use his foot and turn this six spoked wheel, which in turn would rotate the shaft through a set of U-joints here and down farther and that in turn would rotate this bevel gear and turn the curved gear attached to the blade. This handle unlocks the blade by pulling it backwards and releases the locking mechanism and then the operator would push on this star wheel and that would rotate the blade to the desired angle. Once in position the lock handle was moved back forward and the blade was locked in place. With the blade being at an angle, as the machine was moving forward, there would be side thrust against the blade. Being as the wheels 
are smooth and have no center rim or tread, this would tend to slide the machine sideways. To counteract this, the wheels can be tilted front and rear so that the rims dig in. To cock the wheels, this handle would be turned which goes through a pair of miter gears and down this shaft to a worm gear box and from the worm set comes out to a spur gear on both sides and that runs against a curved rack which then will tilt the wheels. The front wheels can also be tilted by turning this handle which runs out along this shaft to this first U-joint and then down the shaft to the second U-joint. That runs into a gearbox that contains a pair of miter gears and from there runs down a shaft into the same gearbox as on the rear of the machine and has a spur gear which runs a curved rack. The next function is the ability to offset the machine relative to the rear axle. This crank handle here runs down through a pair of miter gears and that turns a lead screw with a shuttle that's hooked by a link to this one axle yoke. When the handle is turned, it will shift that axle assembly relative to the machine. If you watch this curved piece here, which is connected to this yoke, as the handle is rotated, That piece will, the frame will actually slide over that piece and offset the machine relative to the rear axle.
The next function is being able to offset the tongue relative to the center line, much similar to shifting the back of the machine. This steering wheel here runs out through this shaft down here to this first universal joint which is right at the center line of the axle. So as the axle rotates that U-joint will pivot and allow that shaft to turn. The shaft then goes down here through a second U-joint with a sli square sliding link to the next U-joint which goes into this gearbox, another worm set, and out the bottom of that is a spur gear which turns this curved rack gear here. You can see the tongue, the lower tongue, shifting relative to the upper tongue so that the machine itself would be offset from the towing vehicle or team of horses. The last function is the ability to offset the whole blade assembly by means of this crank handle and that shaft goes down to a pair of miter gears underneath the machine which turns a lead screw and much like the rear axle has a follower shuttle that offsets the whole blade assembly.